Ah, there, all done. Huh? I've rewired this old clock radio into a bona fide time machine. Now I can go back to any point in history anytime I want to. That's kind of cool, huh? Let's see. I've worked tirelessly for days on end, and I finally invented something that will change the very face of civilization as we know it. What should I do to celebrate? I know! Watch TV! Ow! Careful! Uh, let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Always make sure you warm up before you start doing serious exercise. Otherwise, you're liable to... Oh, was that my spine? Oh, that's smart. Stop it! You have no respect for me. That's what it all comes down to. And I refuse to be in a relationship where I am not respected. I'm leaving you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Be sure to join us again tomorrow for The Young and the Housebroken. Today's kids question is from Lisa Halliday in Downers Grove, Illinois, who asks, do anchormen really have anchors attached to them? <laughs> of course not, Lisa. We have Huge concrete blocks. Anchors haven't been used since the late 70s. 20 seconds to lift off and counting. Still no launch pad power. Can somebody confirm status on that? We have isolated the system malfunction and we are ready to proceed. Copy that. T-minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Ignition. Houston, we have a problem. Got a six foot grounded heavy duty extension cord with a two prong adapter? Huh. Wonder who that could be.